Now the first step is to verify the game file. So make a right click on the game select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try this in launch option. So copy this command. This command is provided in the video, video description. So make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the general tab in the launch option, type in this that is dash disable dash compute dash shaders without any space and then you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to disable and unsubscribe mods one by one and then you can test the game. Now for this you can launch the game if you are able to launch the game. If you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step. If you are able to launch the game uh, you can go to mods section over here. I am also receiving the error because of mods. So go to mods and then over here uh, whichever mods you think is causing the problem you can select that mod then click on disable it go to advance and you can unsubscribe from it confirm unsubscribe and you have to make a right click you have to disable it and then go to advance unsubscribe and you have to check one by one so disable each mod launch the game and then check now still you are facing the problem then in that case you can select all the mods and then you can disable it over here you will see the disable option disable it and then click on unsubscribe now it's still not working the next step is to rename or delete the config file config file now for this you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive open users folder your username folder app data folder if you don't see app data click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local low folder open this folder and then open this folder and open the config folder now over here you can see preference folder uh, this is the config file i think You have to delete all the config files so it's better that you delete the complete config folder so copy this folder if you want to create a backup you can create a backup once you have a backup created you can make a right click and then you can delete this folder and then you can launch the game and then check all the saved settings will be lost when you do so rename the save game files now when you rename the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first now for this to this go to the same location over here you can see this folder you can create a backup of this folder once you have a backup created now you can make a right click on this folder and then you can rename this folder you have to start everything from scratch and now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this instead of launching the game from here make a right click manage browse local files and then make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working uh, then this time make a right click and then go to properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working then go select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then check now still not working when you put a check on all these boxes uncheck all these boxes and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to windows security allow the game exe file to anti uh, to windows security so open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security virus and threat protection over here click on scroll down click on manage ransomware protection click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow add an allowed app browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so open this game folder and then select the game exe file click on open 
now once the game is added over here now you can launch the game also type in control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added now launch the game still not working the next step is to if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So, go to NVIDIA website or AMD website, select your graphic card from the list, and select your graphic card, your operating system, click on find, and then install the latest graphic card driver uh, from this page. So at the top, you will find the latest graphic card driver, GeForce Game Ready Driver. You have to click on View, and then you download this file, and then you can run the EXE file, install the latest graphic card driver. Once installed, restart the computer, and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in Graphic Settings in Windows search box. Go to Graphic Settings, click on Add Desktop App and then go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, find the game in the list and then click on the game over here, select high performance over here, high performance, you will see your graphic card. Now you can launch the game. Still not working. Now desktop users, make sure that you connect the uh, display cable or HDMI cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the integrated graphic card. Now, the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off, enable the Steam overlay while in game and then check. And then if you have any other overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, go to NVIDIA app settings and turn off NVIDIA overlay. Do not overclock. If you have overclock, set it default. Close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reward Tuner. If you have any third party application or services running, close it. Also, if you have undervolted, you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update Windows. Now for this, open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update or Update and Security. Click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, restart it. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Download this x86 and x64, both the versions. So download it and then click on the file. Repair. If you see repair, if you see install option, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file, click on repair or install, whatever you see. And once installed, make sure both are installed. Once installed, restart the computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Now, still not working. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, make a right click, manage, un uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder. Restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.